Hey, all right, so we are at Totem Pole Park, Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park in um, Foyle, Oklahoma. So, it's kind of hard to find. You're going to be on Route 66 going south. If you go south, you're not going to see a damn thing. It's Highway 28A. Um, there's a messed up, like, little concrete purple sign. And you'll see the concrete purple sign that's got, like, jacked up paint on it and stuff. And that apparently probably was the marker at one time telling you where this place is. Um, if you're like me, you're going to keep on going. You're going to end up turning around at the gas station. And then uh, asking the people in there who are really nice and they'll say, oh, go up there to Annie's or some whatever the place was. And that's 28A, take a ride. If you're coming northbound on 66, um, it's pretty easy to actually see. It tells you right off the bat. It says uh, there's actually a white and black sign that says Totem Pole Park. So it says Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park. And then you're going to drive down here. And you're going to drive for a while. It's like three and a half miles. It's like you're going to think you're going to almost be an Adair if um, if you don't know where you're going. And so once you start kind of questioning, well, I wonder if I missed it or not, you'll see it and then you'll definitely not be able to miss it. So here is Totem Pole Park. All right, so let's look at all the stuff. So all this is built out of concrete. And it's closed. I think this is the museum and gift shop, but it is closed. It doesn't say when it's open. Maybe it's open during certain times of year. I don't know if you can see in there. I see some t-shirts and stuff. It is currently 528 on a uh, what is today? Tuesday. So maybe they're just not open. Or maybe they closed already. But here's this totem pole. So that's the fiddle house. Limestone lioness. By Ed Galloway, 1915. So another thing about this place is it's free, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got a little donation box, so I'll throw a couple bucks in it. But here's some uh, big birds, they're pretty cool. Here's the big totem pole. And this thing's pretty damn cool. And the door is locked, but 
I know you, I've seen in other videos where you can go inside. So there's what it looks like inside. There's an arrowhead. You got a nice little picnic area and stuff, and there's even like a little kid's playhouse over there. So here's our tree. And as you can see, some of the concrete's chipped off here. Um, since the museum's not open, I don't know when he built this or who he was or anything so i'll have to do some research and uh look it up oh, i can use the restroom while i'm over here so here's an old drill press there's a water pump let's use the restroom well, we're not going to be using the restroom because the key is available in the gift shop. So, I'm, I'm betting it's not open. Nope. Got a little bit of mud over here. No parking over here. Got a nice little barbecue area. kids little wooden playhouse of some kind playhouse there you go built by Ed Galloway in 1956 for his grandson Gary restored in 2000 by Jim that's pretty nice and they've even kept the mud daubers out I bet there's some good bugs up in there though let's see I don't know if you can see anything Oh, we have a porta potty right there. That was handy. Um, the porta potty came in nice. I needed to go pee. There's a little fiberglass guy right over there. And uh, there's nobody here at the park. There was one truck, and they were all getting in the truck when I pulled up. But uh, let's see what this thing is. Looks like another little barbecue area. Here you go, if you want to rent this, call 918-283-8035. Can't trespass after dark though, guys. But, it is, got a little fireplace. It's pretty nice. Nice little, uh, they have a nice little, little get-together over here. Need a barbecue grill or something over here. There's the one over there. But, uh, I don't know. You can rent it. So the big totem pole says 1948. So I'm guessing that's when that was built. Let's take a look at the other stuff here. Got a rusty old metal pipe sticking out of here. Guessing maybe there was another barbecue on there. Over there says dog walking area. That's pretty nice. And this house right here is a private residence. It says right on it. I don't know what maybe was on this pole. Those are old uh, telephone lines or some kind of electric lines. 
We have this guy, this is a uh, pretty bird water. We have these guys, they're gate. So those were gates. It was probably all fenced off at one point. And here's one last look at the Totem Pole Park. Pretty cool. So if you're ever in Foyle, Oklahoma or Adair and you're coming on 28A, head into Foyle or you're heading to Adair, I'd suggest this as a stop. It's a nice place to get out and walk around. And um, we're gonna go get back in the car. It's owned and operated by the Rogers County Historical Society, National Register of Historical Places, 1999. Restoration by Kansas Grass Roots Association, 1992. www.rchs1.org. Oh, donations will be appreciated. This park is maintained by donation and gift shop sales. Your contribution will be helped for continuing maintenance. It is greatly appreciated and you will be pleased by future generations. Register the historical places. All right, let's put some money in. So this uh, private residence, I think, is like the caretakers or something because the donation thing's there. I put about $7 worth of quarters that I had and random change into the thing. I didn't really want to put dollar bills in there because it didn't look too watertight. And, you know, I didn't want a bunch of old molding dollar bills to be sitting there. I don't know how often they empty it. But anyways, Totem Pole Park is pretty cool. Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park on 28A in between Adair and Foyle, Oklahoma. And um, if you look over here, like I said, the reason I think this res private residence might be a thing, there's another more, other there's another totem pole kind of gate. You see right on the other side of their car and that says private residence. So, so they have it in their yard. So that's kind of cool. That'd be a cool house to live in or stay in. And, they pr and it says no, uh, nobody admitted after dark. So I'm guessing that's kind of their job is they keep people out. So anyways, thanks.